Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Listen, if you ever feel alone, man, I want to let you know you are part of this family. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at Your Motivation Guy. You know, when anyone ever talks about Fortnite greats, they usually mention PC pros like Booga, Mongrel, Aqua, but my question is, what about console players, right? Like, what about all the guys that have been grinding out on PlayStation and Xbox and the Switch? Is there anyone who we can definitively say is the best? Well, the console scene is still somewhat new compared to PC, obviously. You know, they've only had tourneys for about a year, but still, I, I think there's been enough time to choose. And based on everything that we've seen, right now, we're leaning toward it being a PS4 player by the name of TK. All right, guys, so if you don't follow the console scene, you probably have no clue what I'm talking about. But don't click out the video just yet. I'm going to tell you why. Because today, I'm going to be sharing some thoughts on why we think TK is the console player that you and everyone else should just start paying attention to. Of course, gameplay is everything. So later in this video, we're going to analyze how he plays and just see if we could just really learn something for ourselves. Spoiler alert, he's absolutely incredible. So TK, who plays for Team Devour, is 50. Team. He competes on NA East and, uh, well, he's been absolutely killing it lately. In the last three months or so, he's dominated the console platform cups, finishing in first place, guys. Not once, mm -mm. not twice, but a total of six times. Six. That's that's crazy. I mean, that's like twice a month. That's nuts at a level of consistency that we haven't ever seen, like since Benji and Unknown were winning every cash cup at the start of chapter two. And that's just the start of it. Like TK's also had multiple daily dual cup wins and top 10 finishes. And just recently, he almost carried his team to the first place spot in Trio's FNCS. Unfortunately, due to some issues, they finished second, only two points behind, but still a fantastic performance worth several thousand dollars. And that's only one tournament though. Like what about his entire record? For that, the Fortnite tracker power rankings are the best place to look as they're really determined by placements and how important each tournament is. Basically, it's the best measure that we have of like how well someone is actually performing. And looking at the power rankings, TK sits comfortably at the very, very top, beating out everybody else with a hefty margin. Let me tell you this, guys, numbers do not lie. And to us, this only helps cement TK's position as the best performer in his region. But I guess you need to see it to believe it. So we got to take a look at what makes TK so extraordinary because he really, really is. All right, we got to start off with his mechanics. You guys ready? Here we go. All right, so we're going to get to that in a sec. But first, if you're looking to improve your own game sense like quickly, you got to check out awesome coaches over at Pro Guys, all right? They can just spot your mistakes and really are just guaranteed to help you guys improve your gameplay really really fast so if you're serious about improving i'm only talking to the serious people if you are serious about improving check it out on the top right today All right, when it comes to TK's ability to build, to edit, to aim, his quickness, his accuracy, and consistency, it's out of this world. You might be like, yeah, 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 he's nothing special compared to the PC pros you watch. But remember, guys, this is on a PlayStation. TK doesn't have the luxury of high frame rates and a 240 hertz monitor. His input lag is significantly higher with 60 frames, and that low responsiveness can be incredibly frustrating when you're trying to play at a really high level. Trust me, I understand that. Somehow, though, it barely seems to hold him back because he's always really pulling off these really, really dope shots and clean edits. Like, can we talk about his piece control? It's just seamless, and it's really, really smooth. I mean, he's placing all these build pieces in like a quarter of a second, and then his shots still manage to follow up every single time after that. This is piece control at a level similar to top tier PC pros, even better than some if you're being honest. You can definitely tell he spends a lot of time practicing and he's just running drills because this is as close to flawless as it really gets, guys. TK is like straight up dunking on players in real games as if he's playing creative, and it's just so really, really dope to watch. I love it. His mechanics, they're nuts. But can we talk about his end games though? TK is a madman during what should be the most panic inducing moment of the match, right? You know how many players panic at this time? Even if the lobbies are stacked, his play style kind of reminds me of Reed, where he just keeps pushing and pushing and pushing and applying pressure, and he's just picking up kills on players who have no clue like what's going on. And that's with console end game performance being a hindrance. PC players complain when their frames drop to like 100 per second, but on console, it dips down to 40, sometimes as low as 30, which causes a lot of stuttering and honestly it just makes most players play really, really passive because of that. TK though, it's as if low frame rates don't affect him. 
And that's what I love about this guy. I mean, he's got that aggression. He has that blood lust in him that just makes him ignore external factors. He gets in there and he focuses on fragging as hard as he can. It's almost like it comes naturally to him. Overall, like TK's aim and building style are on a whole nother level. And we just haven't seen this with console players. And knowing how much input delay and stuttering there is, it just really makes it all the more impressive to watch. But of course, mechanics are only a part of any pro player's success. So what about his game sense? Okay, so when it comes to game sense, it's pretty obvious. TK's got a huge brain, bro. <laughs> we talk about game sense and decision making a lot on this channel, and TK, he just, yeah, he just has that big brain energy. Really though, like, it's tough to talk about it because game sense can be a broad, broad term. So let's try to analyze his decision making from one of the platform cups and just see what he does exactly to win. Here we go. So one thing TK excels at is his awareness and finding kills, especially during end game. Part of that is because his rotations are on point, like here, and I mean like right here. He makes sure to tunnel ahead of the pack first, then looks back toward the storm just to cast rotators. And in this situation, most of us would have just shot our ARs as soon as possible, right? But TK, he knows that will blow his opportunity. So he waits until they're really, really close enough, and that way he could just shoot and immediately just snag the wall, which gives him the control he needs to secure the LM right then and there. That's the type of decision making that's so seemingly insignificant, but I actually ends up making a massive difference. And uh, you know, once TK's back in the safety of his box, he gets back to looking for kills. This time, parent through a ramp edit. That's when he notices a player head to the left. To make his life easier, instead of just chasing them, he waits until they engage so he can just third party. They do, so that's when he just swoops in for the kill. Look at this though, like TK doesn't just W key into their box, instead he takes control of this wall and he edits for a clear angle where he could just spray them down. Way less risky than, you know, just cycling and just taking the 50-50 in a box he doesn't control. A little while later though, and TK is just starting to run out of mats. He desperately needs an impact frag, so he attempts a strategy I really, really like, entering into enemy builds. The only problem is, is that he breaks in, his opponent apparently hears, so they trade damage, and it forces TK off. Now, he has to fend for himself with barely any wood remaining, but notice what he does have. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, he has floppers, one of the best ways to find refreshes in the end game. So, when he's out of one resource, his materials, he just starts using another, his floppers. Dipping into the storm luckily gets him two free kills and it gets him right back into the match. But now it's down to a one-on-one -on -one with TK controlling the high ground. Sensing that his opponent has zero mass, he drops down and he tries trapping them in the storm. That's really clever on the spot thinking on TK's part, I gotta give him credit for that one, but the enemy slips in anyway. Still, no big deal, because TK simply doesn't miss. So from his overall awareness to his building knowledge and comprehension of item usage, it's easy to tell TK really understands the game to its fullest extent. Really goes to show you like how he's won so many tourneys, and that's just on the solo front. Team modes are entirely different beasts, obviously, but TK is no slouch to that either. He tends to be the IGL or in-game leader, and let me tell you this, his leadership is spot on. I love that. It's practically like the most challenging role to have in a trio, yet he does his best, and he makes sacrifices if necessary, and he really, really pulls through for his team. You gotta learn from that. And when it comes to inventory management, I mean, which many pros really struggle with, TK always makes sure that everyone has the items that they need. They make sure they have shockwaves, right? Peppers or splashes or whatever it is. TK is not only managing his inventory, but his teams too, pretty much at all times. So what I think makes him so good in all these areas is his impeccable communication. Behind me. One shot, dead, 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 I got a kill, I got a kill. I can go high, I'm going high, I'm going high. All right, I'm going high too. Nice, nice, nice! You got him over! I have eye! I have eye! I'm coming up, coming up, coming up! I'm up with you, I'm up with you again! He's still build buddy, he's build buddy! And communication, I think, sometimes is overlooked. You know, comms are a considerable skill in itself, like vital to team modes, man. Something a lot of players do not get is relaying urgency in comms. And that's something that TK is really, really proficient at because if you're not urgent sounding when you need to be, your team might not listen to you when they need to. Which brings me to my final point, guys. So many people on Twitter or Reddit like to say that console players don't deserve the same prize pools because their skill level just isn't deserving. But like, after watching TK lead his team to victory again and again, I don't know if I agree with that. 
And there's just definitely a high degree of skill involved with that. I mean, it doesn't matter that he or other guys play on console. There's still a ton of competition and it takes a tremendous amount of effort to just end up playing amongst the best. But to conclude, is TK the best PS4 player in the world? But based on everything we've seen, we say he very well likely is. Heck, you know, he might even be at the very top of all non-PC competition. But either way, console attorneys have been going on for about a year now. And in that year, we've seen some incredible transformations, man. Console pros just six or seven months ago were just nowhere near this level. But they've been grinding hard. And now, after seeing how TK plays, I feel as if they're only going to get better. It might be about time that all of us start giving some more respect to the console scene. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts about TK and the console pro scene in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed what you saw, give the video a like, you know, sub to the channel and make sure to check out proguides.com for more tips, tricks and coaching. You know, we left TK's socials in the description. Make sure guys to check him out. He's really an incredible player. And for all you guys aspiring to make it big on PlayStation or Xbox, he's definitely somebody that you should be looking up to. Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? I'll see you soon.